Hello everyone, I am Torior and welcome to another one of my Hearts of Iron 4 challenges. Today we're going to play as Portugal and conquer Europe. I'm in Portugal 1. We start with a fairly weak army and fleet, uh, but if we build it up a bit it should be enough to take over Spain, which should be our first move. Before we do that though, we need to release some subjects. We're going to release Angola and Mozambique because we need their manpower. Release nation and release nation. As for the focuses, let's start with political effort because we need to change our ideology so we can attack people. Let's go with superior firepower doctrine this time. Now we start with three division templates. This is artillery, engineers and infantry. Uh, this is just infantry and this is cavalry. I think I should use this one, but we will need to get a few more military factories to pull it off properly. Anyway, let's go to our colonial templates and make copies of this one. Train and train and also make them elite so they get priority manpower. I should unpause before producing them because uh, yeah, the, the, the new countries that we released need to uh, recalculate stuff. Let's build up our infrastructure and maybe get some military factories as well. We only have two military factories, which is a bit of a problem because I'm going to need all these things, but we'll get more soon. As for dockyards, we will need a navy eventually. We have 18 divisions. Let's uh, switch half of them into Mozambican troops and half of them into Angolan troops. We don't want to waste our own manpower if we can waste their manpower. We have one guy. I need to promote him to a field marshal. Political effort and remilitarization of Rhineland. Let's continue with collectivist ethics and hire a fascist demagogue. The Spanish Civil War, that is awfully quick, which is going to probably be a bit of a problem for me, because I need to be at war with both of them as soon as I can. We have enough points to modify the government, let's get a silent workhorse. That is usually a very good choice. As soon as we have enough points, we should open up political discourse. There you go. Angola changed their manpower law, which is very good for me. How about Mozambique? They're still on volunteer only, but they should change soon. Militarism is done, we will not have manpower trouble. Now industrial effort. We do have some political power stockpiled, but we'll need it for a referendum and to start justifying war goals. As you can see, Republican Spain is winning, which means we should attack them first. It is imperative that we are at war with both of them before the Spanish Civil War is over. Our fascist support has reached 40%. It is now time to discredit the government. And we're very close to a referendum, but not there yet, 49. All right, because there are also some communists and soon a referendum. Oh, now we get the event. Oh well, let's get the referendum then. Hold national referendum. Boom, fascist, we can start justifying. Now it seems like Republican Spain is going to win, so let's start with them first. Conquer, and let's say Valencia. There you go, and also, you guys, let's take uh, Galicia. All oh, right. Now we wait and prepare. Yeah, seems like Republican Spain is actually losing quite badly. What happened here? Did you guys get some new volunteers or something? We don't really care how this war goes, apart from the fact that we needed... Oh, China has happened. Um, and apart from the fact that we needed to go on until we can be at war with both parties. We're going to want to go for war economy and free trade and that then get some commanders. Free trade because that gives us a nice research bonus. You know what, I changed my mind about the unit training a little bit. Um, we already have 24 of those heavy units, but I'm going to make 24 of uh, those very light ones, just to fill gaps in the front lines if we can. Construction effort, good. Now we're continuing down to the research slots. I still haven't assigned his traits. I want him to be charismatic and offensive. Justification for our Republican Spain is ready. Let's not declare yet. Let's wait because it's valid for two months. We're just going to attack through here with a big army and the army with the smaller units won't be assigned here. And I think we're ready. Let's attack Republican Spain and continue justifying on Nationalist Spain. Conquer. Hopefully they will not join the Comintern or something. Italian volunteers, gladly. Come on, Germany, you should send some too. Actually, I should make you aggressive. Let's make them super aggressive. Anschluss of Austria, right. Doing quite well against Republican Spain. Oh, Nationalist Spain is sending me Lend-Lease. 
even though I'm justifying a war goal on them and I'm about to attack them. Well, thank you. Logistics are more or less fine. A little bit of manual management. And we can attack Nationalist Spain. It's about time. Um, yeah, no reason to delay. Let's declare war. And hire an infantry expert. As well as a morale expert. Hmm, Nationalist Spain is actually pushing into our territory. Uh, this could be a bit of a problem, but I'll try to completely deal with Republican Spain quickly and then focus on the Nationalist Spain. Can I just send you guys to Barcelona? That should make them surrender. Alright, can we get Barcelona? We are about to, yes. Okay. That deals with Republican Spain. Very, very aggressively push north. And I might want to start justifying a war goal on China. But I don't want to increase the world tension too much before I'm done with Spain. So I'm going to start justifying on China as soon as I'm done with Spain. And why would I justify on China? Well, because it's a very good opportunity to grab a lot of uh, manpower. When we are no longer fighting two countries, this is a much easier endeavor. Oh, we have 52 factories. We actually have enough factories to get uh, full research slots. And we have one. I'm going to just annex everything. We don't need a puppet in here, and we were supposed to be annexing Europe. Um, but I might get a Chinese puppet, we'll see about that. Now let's end the turn here. And we're done with Spain. 79 factories. A nice start, isn't it? And now let's move against China. Let's justify on the Sichuan province, I think. That's what it's called properly. I'm going to need some manpower here. This is not part of, you know, our goal, but we already have a nice factory base. We do have some manpower from our puppets down here. It was enough for what we were doing, but now I need some more. And an excellent source of manpower is China. Extra research slot done. Um, yeah, let's do another one. Our justification against China is ready, but our troops are not in position yet. Let's let them prepare a little bit before we attack. Okay then, I think we're ready. No reason to delay this. Declare war. We could now ally Japan if we wanted to. Hmm, they don't seem to want to call these guys in. Germany wants me to join their faction. Well, I was planning on it anyway, yes, so I am going to do that. Oh, come on. Do I need to justify a separate war goal on you? I will if I have to. Germany wants to join my war. No, thank you. Strikes. That is very unfortunate. Let's choose the most expensive option. Communist China has capitulated. Ooh. We must hurry up to get a little bit here. Ah, crap. We're not justifying since we're in the negatives. I forgot about that option. We want to get a bit of territory. The fact that Japan is taking all of that means we might not be able to. I'm going to take the... Probably the expensive option, um, but as soon as my war goal is ready. I don't want to pause my justification. No. Oh, crap. Japan took one, one bit of the province, and now, apparently, my justification is paused. Oh, I hate this so much. All right, justification is ready. I'm a bit angry about how that went down, but there we go. Go. And also, now I can address the strikes. Going well. How much war participation will I get? Not a lot. China has capitulated. Oh, crap. I was hoping to get some more score before that happened. Fortunately, though, China was not puppeted. And neither was, uh, well, these guys here. So I can do what I usually do with China. And do a shadow puppet of Communist China. If I can. Maybe. Well, not Communist China, just China, which is unfortunate. If only I could start fighting them earlier. Still, I can get the Chinese puppet out of this if I play my cards right. And you do it like that. Take all states, take all states, puppet, cancel taking everything. That is the so-called shadow puppeting. And now, well, we can take some territory. Hopefully, maybe. After passing many, many times, we can now take all the remaining bits of China. Let's enter conference. Oh, so Communist China was not puppeted, it was annexed by Japan. That's good for me, because now I can release Communist China and get tons and tons of manpower. Manage occupied territories, Communist China, release nation as a puppet. 
Chinese Empire. It's called Chinese Empire, but it is Communist China. It's fascist, but it gets Communist China's uh, modifiers, which means they have 20 million manpower. So our manpower troubles are gone. Now, with that done, I will need to get military access from Japan. They might agree because we have the same ideology. Ask for military access. And now we can prepare to expand more in Europe. We'll have to wait for Germany to attack at the Allies and maybe prepare some naval invasions. And I'm going to need to switch all my troops into Chinese expeditionary forces. Because manpower. Let's make a 20 width with support. Take this, duplicate it. Should I do infantry with support or 7-2? Well, with nearly infinite Chinese manpower, I should probably do infantry with support. Yeah, that sounds about right. I'm going to switch all my troops into that template. Oh, I should make more submarines. Yeah, I should make submarines. Submarines are not that great at fighting, but they have great range. I have decided to change... Uh, yeah, good. Mm, dealt with the strikes. I have decided to change my plans a bit. I'm actually going to join the German attack on the Allies. We're going to take over France and then mount an attack on the UK. Which is going to be slightly difficult because they have a huge fleet. But I'm going to try and remedy that with building tons and tons of submarines. Submarines are very weak, but if we have tons of them, we should be able to launch uh, the attack. Also, I decided to start training editable troops. This is just one bit of infantry and I'm going to be switching them into the Chinese manpower guys because I don't want them to go all the way from here. Belgium and Liberia have joined the Allies. Alright, how long until we attack anyway? A uh, hundred days, more or less. Ideological fanaticism is done. Uh, let's do army effort. Although I suppose I could have done naval effort. Well, too late now. Deployed some planes, not a lot, but might help. And we're kind of ready, more or less. I'll still need to uh, switch these defensive troops to, uh, to the Chinese template, but that can wait a little bit. We are pretty much ready to attack. I have deployed uh, units in all my ports. We shouldn't be the target of naval invasions. And there we go. Germany. Attacking Poland. And... Where's the rest of you? Luxembourg joined allies, Poland joined allies, where's the rest of the allies? Alright, France and Britain. Now I'm going to join your wars. Yes, I am. And there we go. Move into France. And you guys just go straight for Paris. My ships are safely waiting uh, in a port, building more and more of them. Good. We will want to have a hundred or two and then just send all of them at the same time into the English Channel which should give us a brief window of opportunity in which we can launch a naval invasion. British Raj, yes, yes, you're calling everyone in. And every time we take a port I should send some troops to secure it. Whoops, these guys got separated. Well, they might get killed but they also might get Paris for me. That's a risk I am willing to take. They can't prepare a defense, they're trying to but we're moving quite quickly. Everyone just go to Paris. Almost there. Yugoslavia declared war on Bulgaria. And... There we go. Is that enough? Yes, it is. Thank you very much. We got France. Now uh, we need to prepare an attack on Britain, which is going to be problematic since they have a huge fleet. Now let's make sure we also secure all the ports. Let's deploy these guys. Add them to the defensive army. And paint some fallback lines. That is it. Now we prepare an attack on London. But the enemy has tons of ships here, don't they? Yes, they do. We need to have more. And I realize the submarines I'm building are crap. But if we have enough of them, that will give us naval supremacy. Enough to launch a naval invasion. Poland has capitulated, yes. And now the Soviets are gonna get it. As soon as this is done, I'm going to start planning some naval invasions. You know what, let, let's actually go harshest for a while. That'll let me build more of my naval dockyards. We're making almost five submarines per month, which is pretty neat. But I need more steel. Soviet Union attacked Finland. Now Finland don't go joining the Axis. We don't need a war with the Soviets yet. Ah, oh, crap. Can we succeed? Is this enough to defeat the enemy navy? How many planes do you have here, anyway? That's a lot of planes you have there. What, the Navy? How about the Navy? You have 23 ships. 
Let's deploy all the planes we can. Activate the invasions, all the planes to the English Channel, and we should also send our whole navy to the English Channel. That is 50 ships. Let's see. Come on, yes. Have the invasions launched. The invasions have indeed launched. All right. Let's see if they can get through, which is the difficult bit. Ha! We've landed! Beautiful. Yeah, which one are you? You're this one. Cancel all your orders. Get frontline. Attack. Aggressively. Come on. Get me London. We will need to do some micromanagement here. Please help your friends in the area. Attack Portsmouth. Is that how you pronounce that? It's certainly not Portsmouth. We can bring in more troops if we need to. Might not even need to. What is my war participation? 39%, which is pretty great. Are you trying to retreat from the naval battle? I don't know. I'm really not into this navy stuff. We should be winning very soon. Probably when we take Liverpool. The game is running quite slowly, though. Go on, take Liverpool. Will that be enough? It was. The UK has capitulated. We got tons of everything. And... And here comes the peace conference, and we have the most war score. Now, I could easily turn this into world conquest if I took Canada and then invaded the US from there. Um, however, world conquests take a very long time, and it would take several more days to record this. And as the challenge was supposed to be Europe, that is what we're going to focus on. So, what do we need? Well, we need strategic positions. We need places from where we can attack. We need Britain, a large part of it. We need France and possibly uh, the Benelux. Let's see how much we can get. Actually, I'm going to pass the first round because Germany will focus on Poland and I'm not sure if Italy will want anything. So this way we'll be able to take more. Let's pass the first round. And uh, they took the Benelux, most of it. Hmm, let's pass once more. Took a large chunk of Poland. Um, should I do it again? Um, one more time. Denmark and Poland. Yes, I expected as much. And now we have a large amount of war score and we can proceed to take a lot more territory. Now, this is not Europe, but I do need access to Turkey because I will need to attack Turkey. And it's going to be more convenient to attack them from the south. This is as much as we can take in this round, but that should give us all of the British Isles and all of France because they won't be able to take uh, the inner stuff, as well as access to Turkey and all of Norway. But we want to finish what we need here and let's pass to do that. That completes our conquest of France. Now, who's next? Don't really need any land outside of Europe directly. Uh, I could use some puppets though. Well, I'm only taking Canada in case the US wants to intervene in some of our wars. We don't really need to fight them. Is that all? It might be all. Let's end the turn. Yeah, that is everything. So, um, I didn't really need all the land outside of Europe. Um, but it was there for the taking, and we can get some better trade deals now. Also, we only annexed Canada as a precaution. Three options now. Attack Germany, attack Soviet Union, or attack everyone else who is not Germany or the Soviet Union or Italy or Hungary. I am picking uh, the last option. I think we should probably start with Turkey. I've deployed some more units, aside some more coast guards, and started working on attacking Turkey and Yugoslavia. I also sent one army to the United States, just in case they decide to interfere in our affairs, which um, we don't we don't really have a quarrel with them. And our war goal against Turkey is complete. Let's attack. I should be justifying a new war goal, shouldn't I? Let's do Greece. I dislike micromanagement, but um, it is good. Let's try and get Istanbul, and then it's undefended. Yay! Hello, Turkey. Goodbye, Turkey. I'm now building infrastructure in China in order to lower their autonomy and get some more manpower from them. 
Germany and the Soviet Union are whacking each other on the heads, while the real threat grows in power. Justification ready, attack. I'm still going to wait until the war goal against Greece is ready before I justify another one, um, but we're going to be attacking Switzerland, Ireland and Sweden and Estonia and Iceland. This is actually, this, this situation is ready for a world conquest. Just uh, take over the US, use them to get tons of factories, take over all the Americas and everyone who's neutral around the Soviets and the Germans, let them fight it out, then squash them both. But that takes, that would take several more days for me to record, because the game is about to start running really, really slowly. So we're just going to beat the Germans and the Soviets. Ah, justification against Greece is ready. Let's get this army down south. And start justifying on, hmm, Sweden maybe. And Switzerland. Oh, Yugoslavia surrendered. Good. Uh, let's just take everything. Are you ready? Ah, more or less. Yeah, it's good enough. Go. Crap, frontline got screwed up again. Come on, take Athens. That should be sufficient. Good. Take all states, please. The game is a cakewalk without uh, the allies guaranteeing everyone, so... Sometimes it's good to get rid of them early. Uh, we don't need closed economy. Limited exports is fine. And that should remedy our resource situation. Shock and awe doctrine complete. We'll go against Sweden is complete. Let's go. The United States joined allies. Japan declared war on the Philippines. What allies? What's allies? Liberia, New Zealand. South Africa and the Philippines. Oh, Sweden has joined allies. That is unfortunate. Seems like we're going to be conquering the United States after all. I didn't want to do that. They are making me do that. Sweden will be dealt with momentarily. You can go straight for Stockholm. They should be capitulating now. Good. Who am I at war with again? Liberia and South Africa. Do we care? And New Zealand. I reiterate, do we care? Not necessarily. I could beat them up, but I don't have to. As long as they don't call the United States in. Do you even have any armies? Or can I just make you capitulate? Liberia has capitulated. That was easy. Let's request some Australian troops and some East Indies troops and mount a naval invasion with those. Justification for conquering Switzerland is ready. Go. I do dislike how the front lines uh, reorganize themselves. Let's just go manually inside their territory. Switzerland has capitulated. That's a lot of equipment. And a logistics company. Now we know we can indeed launch naval invasions from Allied territory, even if the Ally is not called into the war. Good to know. Looking all right. Who else has not capitulated? Just South Africa. Oh, they were not involved in the fighting, which means end of the war. Good, that's all of Sweden and all of Switzerland. As for Liberia and New Zealand, I suppose I could use some puppets. I don't need territory outside of Europe. Ireland. Let's declare. Won't take too long. That's Ireland. Quit India movement. Really? Nah. I'm not gonna let you. A justification is complete. Well, let's go. Let's give them the proper respect of painting uh, an order rather than just clicking the capital. Uh, right, take all states. Thank you. Justification on Iceland is complete. Our last stop before attacking the Germans. Why are we going around like this? Hm. No matter, do what you like. Oh, they don't even have troops. None. Well, that was a waste of resources. And that's the end of Iceland. Take everything. 
Five equipment has been seized. Time to pull back our troops from the United States. We have no quarrel with them. We do have some quarrel with Germany. They are on our continent. I think it's time to betray the Axis. Germany, I'm leaving your faction. And justifying a war goal on you, immediately. 40 days. They're going to manage to prepare a defense, but uh, we should be so much stronger that it won't matter. 1000 interwar fighters. Not the most high tech, but does the job. Yeah, Germany is really having a hard time. Especially now. They have to secure the border with me as well. Ah, the little man is peeing his pants. How are we doing, Adolf? I suppose I could use some more troops. Let's deploy 100 units. Let's do it. Potential enemies, Japan. Japan is guaranteeing Germany. Crap. Is Italy being guaranteed by Japan as well? Yeah. Ah, whatever. I don't need to annex them. I just need to hold the territory. Let's attack. Yes, they have called in Japan, which is unfortunate. But let's just focus on taking them over for now. Liberation of Orso. Well, it wasn't really a liberation, was it? Hmm. Seems like I'll need to attack the Soviets in a moment. Romania has capitulated. Yeah, let's do some cleanup here first. And Germany has capitulated. And the Soviet Union has taken Denmark for some reason. Let's finish off Italy and then rearrange our units to beat up the Soviets. Right, looking good. Good thing I didn't call in China, because Japan would be all over it. Italy has capitulated. Oh! Since we didn't fight Japan, that ends the war. The Soviets have taken... what have you taken? They have puppeted Finland and Romania. I suppose it doesn't really matter. We don't need any puppets. We need land. Come on, take something, Soviet Union. Oh crap, I clicked done. Damn it. I'm genuinely angry right now. I'm supposed to take all this as well. I just clicked done. By mistake. And the Soviet Union got all that. Well, now I need to attack them quickly before they can make use of the endless puppets. Let's get all our fleets to the Baltic Sea. Cancel all the orders of all the armies. Let's just defile Moscow. I do have a huge amount of artillery. Should I add a line artillery or not? I'm actually doing pretty well in the current setup. I don't think I want to mess with it. Let's not mess with the good thing. Just make more of the good thing. Maybe I went a bit overboard with the amount of units, but yeah, it's fine. So with expansion in Europe, not for long. Our justification is complete, but not all our troops are in position. Let's give them a small moment. Just for these guys sake. And we're good to go. Goodbye, Soviet Union. Hopefully. Let's see how well we can do. Yes, calling everyone in. Wait a minute. Ah, your orders disappeared. Need to repaint all the orders, just in case. Their, order dis their orders disappeared because uh, of uh, how the countries were called to war. Democratic People's Republic of Ethiopia. Yeah, that's not going to really make a difference. Why are you not moving? Oh, they haven't been called in yet. Soon, though. Soon. Slovakia has capitulated. Greece? Oh, Rhodes! Crap, I forgot about that. There you go. Zimbabwe. They do have a lot of them, don't they? Yeah, <laughs> Luxembourg. Anyway, moving into Romania. Mm, Botswana. Okay. Libya. They do have a ton of them, really. Romania capitulated. Good. Soviet Nile. 
Balkan Socialist Union, that is Hungary, and Germany. All right, the whole gang is here. Well, and now the whole gang is here. Also, Czechs. Denmark capitulated, and Czech Republic capitulated. Good. Wait a minute. Japan declared war on me, really? Well, at least now, I can be sure they're not going to take territory from me. I won't have to start any new wars to take it back. The only trouble that Japan could actually cause is if they were fighting China, but they did not attack China, they attacked East Indies. Invite to faction from Venezuela. I think I'll be fine. Wait a minute, United States, South African Soviet War. What the hell happened? All right, this, there's too much stuff happening. Uh, who are we at war with? Japan and stuff. Soviet Union and stuff. We are not at war with the Allies. So they joined us in our war against the Soviets for some reason. Okay. Not gonna argue with a good thing. How unified is the Soviet Union? What is this? Italian Union. How are you a great power? This is stupid. Let me have a look at the major countries. Italian Union. Really? How is Italian Union a major country? I'm going to have to conquer you. Won't I? Poland has capitulated. Oh, wait a minute. You missed Crimea. Germany capitulated. Again. This is uh, utter chaos, isn't it? That is fine. As you can see, we're not really having much trouble with the Soviets. China keeps increasing its autonomy, which is a little bit tiresome. Also, um, I suppose I'll do service by requirement. That Italian Union has just capitulated. Ha, great power. Alright, now it's just the Soviet Union. We should be piecing out uh, in a few days, maybe. I hope so. I hope Japan doesn't get much. I do need all of Europe. If Japan gets bits, that would mean... Oh! Soviet Union has capitulated. Good. Here comes the peace conference and... Oh, Japan is not in the peace conference. Why is that? Hmm, that, that's a bit strange, but okay. Maybe that's how that works. Um, let's not argue with that and get our land. Actually, I can just do it like this. Luxembourg, take all states. Socialist Republic of Germany, take all states. Czech, take all states. Poland. Italian Union, that's actually this little bit in Africa. So let's leave that for now. Romania, take all. Uh, Provisional Democratic Greece. Yes, almost forgot that. Denmark, already taken. Hungary. Slovakia. That's Egypt. Did I miss anything in Europe? I don't think so. Now the Soviet Union. Is Japan not in the peace conference because I'm at war with Japan? I don't know. I never fully understood peace conferences. I think with this we have all of what counts as Europe. Well, let's take a few more, just to be on the safe side. And also because I like taking land. This is as much as I can take in this round, which is almost all of it. That is it. Let's end the peace conference. So, we were only supposed to take Europe, but we took all of Europe, half of Asia, and a larger part of Africa and some North America. Now, I guess, uh, sorry, and not one of those accidental half-world conquests, but they were all fighting me. I had to do something. Anyway, uh, we could turn this into a full world conquest very easily, but at this point, I think you would agree with me that it would be quite boring, because we would win any war with anyone. No trouble. Anyway, that was Portugal conquers Europe and a whole lot of other stuff. 
and it's only 1943, so we have tons of time to conquer the rest if we want to. And the next are puppets like Raj and Australia. Um, but I think I'll end it here. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed it, and make sure to let me know in the comments what you liked and disliked about this video, and most importantly suggest what my next challenge should be. Also you'll find a link to a playlist containing all my challenges in uh, the description, as well as a Patreon link if you want to support the channel. And that is it. Thanks for watching again, I'll see you soon. Goodbye.